A little while ago, I made a video seeing how many Beatles songs I could identify in two minutes. I got 26, which I think is pretty good. But there's another artist that I'm a big, big fan of. Elton John. So I thought I'd do the same challenge with Elton John songs. Now, I've got a lot of Elton John songs on my iTunes here. You can see I've got I've got 20 plus albums by him. That's just the studio albums. I've limited it to the studio albums to be consistent with what I did for the Beatles video. Uh, I've got lots more songs of his, like B-sides and rarities, I'm a big fan. But uh, I'm doing it just to be consistent, and uh, I think there's enough in there. Hoping I can get 20, that's my goal. Uh, it's the 80s albums that are gonna trip me up the most because they're the ones I'm least familiar with. But let's give it a go. Two minutes on the clock, and starting... Now, Jamaica Joke Off. Uh, Lady Samantha. Not familiar with that, 80s one. Uh, it's from the Elton John album, don't know. Runaway Train. The bitch is back. A uh, Simple Life, Skyline Pigeon, Your Sister Can't Twist But She Can Rock and Roll, Idol, High Flying Bird, A Tinderbox, Step Into Christmas, I Want Love, Indian Sunset? It's from the Union, but I don't know. Don't know what it's gonna cost me. Oh, this is from... Uh, My Heart Dances? Not sure. Amarina? Nikita? A Good Heart? Slowly. Nope. All the Young Girls Love Alice. Too slow. You're never too old to hold somebody? Right, let's see how I did. Well, I didn't quite get 20. I got 18, which is still good. Uh, the ones I didn't get were Dancing in the End Zone, Goodbye, I Should Have Sent Roses, Shooting Star, Big Dipper, Reverie, Chasing the Crown, and Funeral for a Friend. Uh, I mistakenly thought Chasing the Crown was Amarina. Uh, as predicted, I think one, two, three, four, five, Five out of those eight that I didn't get were 80s ones, so there you go. Kind of ashamed I didn't get Funeral for a Friend, but in my defence, there's about 20 seconds of ghostly graveyard music uh, ambience before that song even starts. So, yeah, I think I did pretty well. I think I can still call myself a fan. Out of 350 songs, I can identify a lot of them early on. And in my defence, they also, a lot of them, start with piano, so you have to know the melody to know the tune in a lot of the cases because they kind of start the same way whereas the Beatles songs a lot of them are very distinct in how they're arranged and how they begin so there you go Elton John fan as well as a Beatles fan